Welcome to this VCT video that will go on a little bit about me and what I do. I am the Platinum Trader from VCT and I'm also going to talk about scammers, marketers, and influencers that have no business in the trading world but yet are here. Um, so this is kind of the story of John Itua that is a marketer and he came in here trying to promote his videos and I told him he couldn't do it or I'd have to ban him and then he then got upset at that and then started berating or attacking the channel so here are, are some of the rules the basic rules the primary ones um, for chat uh, we do not complain or attack the channel in chat if you have an issue if something's wrong um, take it to an admin to resolve it but you do not berate or attack the channel in the chat. Um, uh, second, no promotions of other trading groups or channels or uh, you know their trades or any form of marketing. So don't post their trades or anything to that degree. Um, that could also get you banned. And the third one is no cursing or attacking of other members. So no uh, chat fights or whatever and uh, that could also get you banned. So if you follow those three rules, you should generally not have a problem, but I wanna go on about that. Now I'll tell you the story of uh, how I got into trading. My origin story <laughs> about me, and we're also gonna talk about um, the rules of VCT and uh, the things to watch out for, the scammers, promoters, and, and how the market marketers uh, who pretend to be traders uh, how they can mislead you and cause you problems. So this is going to be an educational video and I'm going to make it available to whoever wants to listen to it. But uh, I'm the Platinum Trader for VCT. Now there are several traders here. I am not part of the Scalp or Swing Channel uh, or the Bot. Uh, everything I do is in technical analysis and I've traded for over 30 plus years. So I started out as a young kid uh, back in the, uh, around uh, the, the mid 80s, I believe it was, I was given an S&P blue book uh, that had information on companies from my aunt because she was buying stocks and she was asking me, what does this, these numbers mean and, and whatnot? And I was very good in math and, uh, you know, and, and uh, she's, you know, she was trying to figure out some calculations. And I was helping her with that. And then I started reading the book, and then I started being interested in those numbers and asking, I wonder which company is going to do well. And uh, I started calculating, basically, and taking an interest because it equated to money. And she was investing money. I was like, oh, neat. And then I was given stock later on and whatnot, and I started um, taking more of an interest. And after I saw the movie uh, Wall Street, that was it. I was I was hooked. I was like, you know, I loved the character Gordon Gecko, <laughs> and um, uh, I was you know fascinated by that whole. Um, it, it was inspiring, I guess you can say. Uh, so I became interested, but uh, I did it with a mathematical uh, perspective, and that helped me a great deal. Um, throughout the time. I was also into computers and uh, this is right before the internet took off um, uh, you know uh, where we had Prodigy if you remember that um, and AOL and this is all in the real beginning and so forth of before electronic trading and then I got into uh, trading and I was the island bandit back in the day and um, uh, you know, we uh, used to trade electronically on ECNs uh, and uh, these exchanges and, and whatnot. We were trading for quarter points and everything were, were done. This is before pen, uh, everything became penny oriented and whatnot. Uh, and stocks used to move in quarter and ace and it was a totally different time. It was very profitable if you were doing it electronically. But anyway... Um, so I watched Wall Street and I got a book um, later on called um, One Up on Wall Street by Peter Lynch and I loved his fundamental sensibility of uh, you know uh, his logic 
uh, I guess you can say. And then later on from there, I read the, the Disciplined Trader by Mark Douglas. And that was the real epiphany uh, because I made a lot of mistakes like any newbie would make uh, when they first learn to trade. Um, I had support in the sense that I had a good understanding of technology and mathematics. Uh, so that helped me a great deal, granted. Um, but it wasn't everything. Um, there are so many mistakes that a trader can make that are purely psychological. And this is one of the things that stuck out to me in the movie um, Wall Street was, you know, never get emotional about stock because it will cloud your judgment. And I that stuck with me. And it was so true. So many things in that movie um, uh, are so true. And that is probably one of the biggest epiphanies and so forth. You don't want to be an emotional trader because the market will bend you when things are going down to sell. And you should be doing the opposite. You Sounds want to good, buy low and sell high. That. And I trounce most 99.99% .99 of the fund managers and traders out there because of my knowledge of the markets. Let's go back through the history. Now, you can go through my videos and you can see my past trades. For example, let's go back in XRP where I started over here in the 20 to 30 cents range when they had the big drop from over here. This became a target in the 60, back in the mid 60s uh, from the 20 and 30 cent range. And you can see my buys back then. Here, let's zoom in a little bit. I was dollar cost averaging, which is something that I do, as it dropped lower, and I was fully filled on all of those. And then as it went back up to the target range, which was above here, above the 60 cent range, um, uh, there you go, that was the trade. Uh, another trade developed here. We had the pattern develop. Uh, it was a buy right here and in the 0.38 and it was went right back to that 6.4 one more trade then again I started buying it as we had the current decline over here and now I'm more in the hold mode I'm waiting for numbers to go back to the two dollar range and above but uh, we had this over here I bought 80 five and under and all the way down to under 70 cents and then I even doubled my exposure on the current drop to 90 cents and you can see this all live in my videos you don't have to guess um, this is the whole concept of buying low and selling high and again I, I trounce 99 percent of the traders out there I just totally destroy them um, my knowledge of the marketplace is extreme and I've always done very well and uh, but I listen to the marketplace I don't go over and interject my own deluded thoughts because uh, if I did I probably wouldn't be that profitable um, and that's something to consider uh, so that's basically enough about me uh, now let's go on about the things to avoid, like the scammers and marketers, and some of the rules you're not to break in NBCT. From time to time, we get pump and dump groups, we get marketers, and we get outright scammers in the room. And all I can do is roll my eyes and go, oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. Well, John Atua was an example of this, and all I can do is roll my eyes and go, what? perfect example and think to myself you know okay now instead of banning him let's use him as an example for education so that you guys are aware there's three different types of attacks that uh, we get on BCT uh, one of them is by the pump groups the dump and the pump and dumps um, they post you know that uh, this pump is coming and whatnot stay away from these it's a sure way to lose money uh, another way that we get attacked in the channel is by uh, the 
fake VCT channel. We don't have a, a VIP channel, so it's very easy to tell that this is not really VCT. And then comes the way that John attacked the channel. And what he did, he, was, he berated the channel. He goes over and posts in there, oh, you hit all your stop losses, blah, blah, blah. Problem is, I don't have any stop losses in my channel. And my trades have been pretty spot on. But he goes over and posts that in the channel for a fact. And then new members have to go over and question what's going on. Da, da, da. Um, so it, it's, it's a convoluted way to go over and uh, uh, denote the channel's not that great. And that's what they use. And then they start messaging uh, members of the channel and uh, start saying, oh, yeah, my, ch my signals are so much better and blah, blah, blah. And it goes on. What, what I found funny is I actually watched John's video, and I, I thought it was funny how he said he lost 300,000 subscribers. <laughs> what? You lost 300,000 subscribers? How do you lose 300,000 subscribers? Did they um, fall underneath the couch? Maybe you should look underneath the couch. Maybe that's where they are. Or um, uh, maybe they were kidnapped by Boko Haram. I think John is from Nigeria, so... Um, that's a possibility, right? Uh, and then my last thought was maybe La Brea, L.A. Brea. You know, they fell into a sinkhole and went to prehistoric times, and that's where they're missing. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, he lost 300,000 subscribers. So if anybody out there can take some time and try to help John find his missing peeps, I'll put a number up here that uh, for you to uh, to check out because he's really forlorn and, and upset that he lost 300,000 subscribers. So John Atua, uh, missing 300 subscribers, please help find 1-800-FIND-MY-EXTENSION-PEEPS. Thank you for your support, and here's a, a few clips from his uh, videos. Um, first of all, guys, we lost our channel. Uh, over 300,000 subscribers, we lost the channel. Um, four guys, we lost our channel. Uh, over 300,000 subscribers, we lost the channel. Um, um, first of all, guys, we lost our channel. Uh, over 300,000 subscribers, we lost the channel. Um, uh, below this video, that's my Telegram group, and I'm going to be posting signals, and uh, they are 95% accurate. And uh, we're going to be posting signals and also we're going to be teaching you can ask any question about trading we're going to can help you do your trading and we also sell bitcoins in case you want to sell your bitcoin we can also buy them and we also now while everybody was getting emotional with the china fud and so forth. I had my orders in place and I was buying. And uh, the charts don't lie and the statistics don't lie. But, you know, the news often is counter what you see. And China might have sent missiles to attack Bitcoin, but they certainly didn't hit their target. And uh, all of your pundits out there, the, the Jim Kramers and the so forth that were saying sell and um, you know, these are marketers and influencers. They, they don't really, they go with the narrative that they're given right now because that's what's popular, that they can market with the algorithms um, uh, because that's what people are looking at when they're afraid. They're looking for sell, sell, sell. And when uh, prices go up, they're looking for buy, buy, buy. Um, so this is exactly what you want to stay away from, these type of goofballs. And uh, observe plan and execute. That's what pro traders do. They don't do stuff like this by listening to strange people. Miss Cleavon, my husband sleeps with his sister. Is that normal? What's part of Alabama you're from, child? This is going to be important. Do not buy Bitcoin. I know what you're thinking. How in the world is Bitcoin Crypto, a channel built totally on Bitcoin and crypto, going to tell us not to buy Bitcoin? Well, so I'm selling 60% of all of my crypto holdings this year. Hey babes, go watch the original video by Blockchain Boy, and I agree with him 100% that selling 60% of your cryptocurrency is a smart thing to do. Here's why. 
So the few people that I spoke to that actually sold um, because of listening to the Jim Cramers and the Bit Boy and uh, Wendy and uh, uh, several other people, uh, they're marketers. They're going to, whatever the prevailing sentiment is, go with the algorithms to get the most views. Uh, so nothing they really say is real. And avoid the marketers is my point. And as far as uh, Xi Jinping, Bitcoin said F you to China. And uh, that's just the way it goes. And if you guys could please, once again, follow the rules of BCT and we won't have any problems. And you marketers, just stay the hell away from here. Uh, leave the trading to real traders. And uh, go, go on with your bizarre bro lives somewhere else. Uh, and stop wasting my time. Thank you. <laughs> Have a great day.